Hey everyone, welcome back to Vic's Garage. Today, I've got a friend working with me today. His name's Simon, he runs his own mobile restoration business. Uh, he's giving me a hand with the sheet metal work on the car. So Simon, why don't you tell him a little bit about your business and uh, you know, whatnot. Okay, um, I own a uh, mobile restoration business. Uh, basically, we do a lot of sheet metal repair and uh, odds and ends on vintage vehicles, uh, paint, body, some interior work. And uh, yeah, that about sums it up. I'm located in uh, Brampton, Ontario, Canada. And uh, we're here to help Vic with his uh, 71 Charger today. And we're going to be doing some frame measurement and uh, some datum work. So. So what exactly is uh, like the datum gauges and what do they do? Uh, the datum gauges measure the height of the frame rails. Um, and they basically tell us if the frame is either too high or too low or twisted or this and that. And make sure that the car is properly in plane with the actual data measurements on the uh, frame dimension page. Okay, so um, we've, uh, we've made the, the data gauges. We'll go through that in the video. And we're just gonna take a look now and explain the ins and outs and how they work. So. So uh, this is our bar for our uh, datum centerline uh, gauge. And first we've uh, drilled the holes in it um, in coordinates with our diagram, our frame diagram and uh, dimensions. So what we're gonna do is take an eyelet, drill our center hole, make sure it's exactly centered between our two measurements as per the drawing. And um, what we're gonna do with this is when it's all assembled, and we have the gauges hanging off the uh, bottom of the car, these eyelets should all line up and you should be able to see one eyelet or all the eyelets perfectly aligned with each other. They aren't offset and if they're offset, that means that the gauges aren't aligned. So, uh, we have a copy of our uh, frame dimensions here. And um, what this line here is our, is our datum gauge or datum line. Um, and you see there's some measurements from the bottom of the frame to this datum line. So basically what we've done is we've made some gauges up which are referenced in these holes here or these markings and this piece here is our actual datum line. So when we put all these rods into the frame rail holes, into the gauge holes, what will happen um, if the frame is out of, uh, if the frame has got a twist to it or a rail is low in one corner or high or whatever it is, It'll show up if we've measured between the rail and the datum gauge and set everything up properly. And when you look down it like this, all you'll see is one bar. Um, if you don't see, or if you see them more than one of these, you'll know that one section of the vehicle is off. And uh, that's what we're trying to determine today. And uh, make sure the car is nice and true. So guys, what we have here is our. Um, gauge hole in our frame rail. Um, as you can see, this this gauge hole looks um, nice and flat, not bent, not torn. That's what you want um, in order to get a good measurement because what will happen is if this is pushed up, say you hit a speed bump or something, um, you'll have an inaccurate measurement of your rail which will show in the datum gauge and it might look twisted or you know that kind of a thing. So basically you want to make sure that all the gauge holes are nice and clean. Uh, there's no rust buildup or stuff like that inside or, or things like that. So anyway, and basically what you, you end up doing is you take your measurement from the bottom of the rail or whatever it says in your actual frame dimension page and uh, you take your measurement from here down to the datum gauge itself and say it's, uh, well in this case it's 14 and a quarter, so you measure 14 and a quarter inches from here to here and you do it from side to side, each side of the rail would get the same measurement. And then you do that all the way back to the entire vehicle as for the measurements that you have on your sheet. And at the end of the day, it should be nice and true. And if it's not true, you know something's out. Uh, obviously, you check your measurements and um, go from there. 
Okay, so when we did this car, uh, how did it all measure out? Uh, for the most part, it looks pretty good. Um, we knew there was some damage up in this front rail here. You can see there's probably a nice big patch up here. Um, so the front end of the vehicle looked a little low, um, but for the most part, there's no twist to it. The rails on the back look good. The center section of the car looks good, which is a good base um, to start uh, this project. So I guess if uh, everything is relatively square and, and straight on the car it makes the replacement of the rails and everything going forward easier oh job. absolutely absolutely if, if the majority of the car is nice and true and straight um you know we don't really have to worry about our front rails up here uh with making sure that we get them all in plane with the rest of the, the rest of the car and that'll give us a nice straight car and you know we'll go down the road straight and have nice door gaps <laughs> all right well, let's get started all right. all right okay guys so we were talking about uh gauge holes being in bad shape and not you know good enough to use as far as an accurate measurement now we're not really too concerned about how these gauge holes look because um, the rails are coming out of this car the front ones and the rear ones but the front one here you can see it looks like it's had a speed bump issue and it's actually bent the gauge hole up so if we were to set this to the proper height um, what it would show is that this rail would be going actually up on an angle and it would throw up all our gauges. But we know that this is off already and we're taking these rails out so it doesn't really matter that much. But as long as when we go to put our new rails in, um, all the gauge holes have to be perfect and then it'll give us an accurate measurement of the frame to make sure everything's true and all set at the right height. All right, everyone, so that's my video on datum gauges, uh, how they're used, how we made them, their purpose. Uh, at this point in the project, you can see that they're they're a good indicator to tell me like the body of the car itself is uh fairly straight even though the the rust and the frame rails and and some of the structure is is not all that great but going forward when we start installing the new frame rails and uh putting things together they're going to really help us they're going to be an invaluable tool uh when it comes to making sure everything's square straight level and uh getting everything right so if you like this video as always Leave a comment, uh, sub like, and subscribe. It helps a lot. If you're looking to reach Simon, I will have some of his contact information in the description of this video. So then you can fire him an email or something, and maybe he can come help you on your project. Just wait till I'm done before you call him because I can't keep getting bumped around. I want to get things done. Uh, that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Take it easy.